With the fourth installment of the Hotel Transylvania franchise coming up, we were given some details about the plot and how things will turn out at the end. After all, this will be the last part and the end for the franchise. However, besides the story of it, we are going to take a look behind it and talk about what the crew had to say about it. We will try to cover almost everything about what was happening during the course of making it. Enjoy! Hotel Transylvania 4 Actual Story ah! what the? What's up, fellas? Frank? First off, we have to tell you that the official title of the movie will be Hotel Transylvania Transformania. And in the trailer, we were given a glimpse at some of the most important stuff that will be happening in it. Some of the details show Dennis's first day at school, Mavis is pregnant yet again, and all of the struggles that come with having a human baby and the likes of Johnny in your family of vampires. The plot, however, can be easily discerned by the trailer released, and by the looks of it, Dracula refuses to fully accept Johnny as part of the family, mainly due to his inherent humanness. And this is the part when Professor Abraham promises Johnny that he will give him the opportunity to become a monster, just like his father-in-law always wanted. The experiment, however, might have some side effects. Despite the fact that Johnny will get transformed into a dragon, one of the side effects is that although he will become a dragon, the other monsters of the premise might get turned into a bunch of average Joes. The plot might shift its focus to the main characters, trying to get everything back the way it was. However, this might prove to be difficult now that Dracula and his crew don't have their magical powers to begin with. Plenty of gags along the way are more than a certainty, especially when everyone realizes that the Invisible Man was naked the whole time. Also knowing that this is the last part of the franchise, we might also get a closure on many loose plot threads. Now that Dracula has to walk into Johnny's shoes for a while, Perhaps this will be the turning point and accept him as part of the family. So with that covered, jump right in for a crazy ride as we unveil the details behind this astonishing fourth movie and franchise as a whole. What the three most important right now had to say, producer and writer Gindy Tartofsky and directors Jennifer Kluska and Derek Dryman. Exclusive look, the unrevealed story. With the first trailer releasing, we got sources in the likes of Collider, which had the opportunity to have a more detailed interview behind some of the biggest minds of the franchise, a deeper look into the upcoming sequel. An interview in which Tratovsky, Kluska, and Dryman talked about the ideas of how they came up with the story, what all of them each wish people knew about making an animated movie, and also how technology changed the way they make these films. And with this in mind, we will continue with what we managed to learn from them. And for you, to check out here with us what they had to say about the topic at hand, starting off with a little bit more insight into the story of the fourth movie. Gindy Tartofsky was good enough to tell his side of the story, a plot revolving around Johnny, Dracula, and Mavis, and the whole hotel turning upside down. Shortly said, the humans become monsters and the monsters become humans, and this will all serve the movie to explore the family dynamic we all have in our lives but still as part of the franchise and its concept. Through the previous installments, they were trying to build not just the story, but also the characters in order for them to feel alive and as an ending of it all to put them into a crazy situation. The movie will also try to explore all those family relationship themes through the completely crazy thing that has happened to all of them, a new environment for them to kind of fit in and be a part of. The adventure of the fourth movie will be big, a grand one, filled with crazy comedy, a cartoony way of showing things, but at its core, still about family. And Gindy thinks that this will be the right and true path the movie franchise needed at its last installment. How the story came to be is also yet another frequently asked question by many, and Tartofsky and Kluska both had a few words to say about this too. Tartofsky explained that it started as a whole other monster but it eventually came to be the story we now have an idea about. When it comes to the story side of things, Gindy expressed himself in a way that we can all kind of have an idea. He said that you have roughly six months to do something, to think of something, and you can't just change it in the middle after it has already started to develop. The money is the problem and the resources all around, 
So you are going on this path you think is right. You live with it and in the end, you just hope that everything will be the way you, yourself, have thought it would be. Throughout the whole process, you try to do something. The story gets ripped apart and then put back together. Then ripped apart again and put back together again. And it is a journey that will show you right at the end what survived. And that part that survived is what makes the whole story pretty strong. As for the installment, the whole story started from Johnny transforming into a big green dragon. And from there, the story organically built to everyone around him. Kluska also added that besides Johnny, Dracula, his character, his presence, and his status in the whole franchise played a big part to the continuation of the story and the development of it when the other characters of the franchise were taken into consideration. Tartofsky also added that this is actually true and that one of the meetings they had as a crew created this story after they hit a little pause with it. They, both Tartofsky and Kluska, said that something brought up the question, what about other people? At first, it didn't make any sense to them, but one thing led to another and the joke of turning everyone into monsters, or humans, was just the thing the franchise needed for it to be complete the right way. And not just adding random things to continue the franchise. Another big element which contributed to the story and the making of it was technology itself and how far it has come since the early days of the franchise, particularly the first two movies. Tartoski gave us a little insight into this too. He said that looking at the first movie, they would have not been able to make this fourth installment back then because everything that has been written and designed for this movie would not have fit at all if it was made in the first movie because the now widely known Transylvania style of filmmaking, the cartoony animation, the way the fabric and the natural lights would simply not work back then because the tools were not there. Also, the team, the crew behind the first movie, the difference is just too big. Back then, there were around 35 animators for the first movie and the number has been growing for every next movie. So by now, the team, according to Tartofsky, might be three times bigger than the number they had to work with for the first movie. And also, the animation and the style of it gives the whole working crew behind the franchise and more room to breathe because they have been working with it and they are quicker to see things and adapt to them, which would not have been the case back in the day. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below. Which part of the story will you think will be the most interesting and why? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.